Hi. My name is Fancy Nine from Nigeria, West Africa. And my question is, how can I find the strength to do what God asks, especially when it is difficult? Thank you. You know, my mother taught me that 10 minutes before the dance is no time to learn the samba. <laughs> and, and, and there's a lot to that. What's interesting is Saul was caught unawares suddenly on the road to Damascus, but not Ananias. Yeah. Ananias, the instrument, was prepared. And he'd prepared him by doing all of those things that were right to make sure that his heart was right. And I think that's true about uh, other instruments. Mm -hmm. um, it, those that are here in this, uh, in this audience today and in each of our lives and, and throughout the world, we prepare one step at a time uh, to be prepared so when the Lord needs us, hopefully we'll be able to walk through that door when I was working at KSL years and years ago, there was a guy by the name of Charlie Freed who would uh, broadcast something that was windows from KSL and he talked about what was happening during a specific day and then he'd say that's the way it was as we watched through windows at KSL, home of radio on this day. I've always thought about the fact that we have windows that open and if we're ready, like Ananias was, we'll be able to serve because of prior preparation. If we're not, the window will close and we'll be left unfulfilled and not able to serve. So I think that's the important reason why we do those little things. Um, in fact, uh, President Oaks, when he was in Germany said, you know, it's interesting, but daily scripture study, service, daily prayer does more to, to prepare us to become like the Savior than the visitation of angels. And if you doubt that, Think about Laman and yeah. Lemuel. So it's just those small things that help us that Ananias obviously was doing. Yeah.